In the next GUI Python project using tkinter, we're going to explore the use of sliders. And sliders allow us to provide a value between two integers. Here I'm going from 0 to 255, and we have a red value slider. We have a green value slider. And each of these sliders I can set to any value between 0 and 255, and there's our blue slider and then any combination of these sliders will produce up to 16.7 million different combinations of colors. When we move the slider, it's calling a function that is changing the color of the, of the canvas back here, or what I call my swatch, to where the RGB value is that I've chosen, and it also is calculating what the hexadecimal equivalent is of those values. So if we made this white, of course, it would be FF, FF, FF. And we make it yellow, it's going to be FF, FF, zero, zero. There's pure green. And there is our cyan of zero, zero, FF, FF. And of course, if everything's turned to zero, it's black. There's no light being emitted. So let me show you the storyboard of how I laid this out. And then I'd like for you to try this on your own, but then I'll walk you through my code review. So of course, with TK enter is going to build from the top down. So in our interface, we're going to start with a label. It's going to be our title. And then I used a canvas object that was 200 by 200. And I'll talk about how you can set your dimensions of your window. In this code example, my window was 350 pixels wide by 570 high and is offset from the upper left by 300 on the X and 100 on the Y. And then I used an empty label just as a spacer. I want a little space between my canvas and the frame that's going to hold my three sliders. So I just did an empty label. I think I made it uh, 10 points in size. Just gives a little bit of space. And then we have a frame because in the frame we need to lay things out horizontally. So within that frame I have three sliders. My red slider, my green slider, my blue slider. And they're always in that order and the values are going to go from 0 to 255. So 256 possibilities of, for each slider. And then another label down here that will contain our hex value. And I used 18 point bold, I think I used Arial, and the title was 24 bold. And of course the frame acts as a container for our three sliders. So when we specify our, laying out our sliders, we need to specify that they're in that frame. We create our frame first, create our sliders in that frame, and then we pack both our sliders and our frame. So each of these sliders will call the same function. That function is going to calculate the hex value of those three red, green, blue integers, and then set the color of our canvas to that hex value and display the value in our label at the bottom. So pause the video here, try this on your own, and if you struggle, come back and watch my, pro my code review. So here's how I created the RGB color mixer with tkinter in Python. Of course, we started by importing tkinter. And then we create a class called myGUI, GUI for graphical user interface. I'm a definition of my initializer for that class. And all we're passing here is self. We're not passing any values to it. I'm going to begin with a constant for a background color of E0, E0, FF. And that's sort of a blue-violet periwinkle color. I'm going to create my main window using tkinter.tk. So that is the initializer to create a new window. I'm going to configure that using the dot config, and I'm going to set the background color to my BG color. And I use that BG color several places. If I want to change the background, all I need to do is change it on that first line within the initializer. I'm going to create some geometry for that main window. If we saw earlier, the, three, the first item there is the width, 350, times the height, which is 570, plus the offset from the upper left-hand corner in terms of pixels on the X coordinate and then on the Y coordinate. So I use 300, 100. It's going to move it down a little bit from the top and a little further over to the right. And then I'm going to set the title of my main window. And I chose CS156 GUI RGB Color Mixer as my title. So that's going to create our window. So our first item in that window was our label for our title. 
So I'm going to add a label. I'm going to call it self.lbl title. We'll use a tkinter.label object. I'm going to have its parent be the main window, so self.main window, main underscore window. I'm going to set the text to RGB swatch. I'm going to set the background color to BG color. We'll configure this with a font of Arial, size 24, bold, and italic together. And I basically just did that in case you had questions, how do I do bold and italics? Can I do them at the same time? Yes, you can. And then I'm going to pack it. That's going to create our label at the top of our window. Then I'm going to create a canvas object. I'm going to call swatch, so self.swatch, tk equals in, tk enter dot canvas. And here again, its parent's going to be the self dot main underscore window. I'm going to set the width to 200, the height to 200, and I'm going to set the background color initially to black. And we'll put all of our sliders at zero to start with, so it'll match up. If you wanted all the sliders at 255 to start with, we can make it white. And then I'm going to pack that. Pretty simple. I want a little bit of space between that canvas and the next object, which is going to be the frame holding our sliders. So I'm just going to do a label there. So I called it spacer1. It's a tk enter dot label. Again, root is self dot main window. I just put a, a space in there for the text. Background color, bg equals my background color. Font is Arial 10, and I'm going to pack that. That's just going to force the next object down a little bit, which is my, my frame. I'm going to call it self.frame sliders. It's going to be a tk enter dot frame, self dot main underscore window. And again, I'm going to set the background to that BG color. Next, we want to add our sliders. So I have my slider red, self dot slider red equals tk enter dot scale. So scale is our slider object. It's going to go into my frame called frame sliders. I'm going to set the background to red. My length is going to be 256 because I want going from 0 to 255. And it's going to be my intervals at 32. It's going to put little numbers within my slider or within my scale every 32 numbers. And I want to go from 255 to 0. Now notice there's an underscore after from and after to. And that's because from and to are key words in Python. We use those in our ranges or in our loops. They created the property of the top values being from underscore and the lower bottom value being to zero. Now we want to go from 255 to zero. So 255 is going to be at the top and zero at the bottom. And then I need a command. When we move that slider, what I want it to do, I'm going to call self.setColor. And that's just a name that I gave a method that we'll look at here in just a minute. So it's going to call that anytime we change the red slider. I'm going to do the same thing for the green slider. In fact, all I did was I copied and pasted this, changed slider red to slider green, changed the background color to green, and that was pretty much it. Did the same thing for the blue. Copied and paste, slider blue, made the background blue. Then I need to pack those. I'm going to pack these to the left. Remember, we want these side by side. So I'm going to pack this, the red slider, the green slider, and the blue slider, and then my frame that contains those. And then finally, we have our label at the bottom. It's going to show our hexadecimal value. So LBL hex is what I named it, self.lbl hex equals tk enter dot label. Again, it's going to be part of our main window. I'm going to set the text initially to hashtag 000000, which is our RGB black color. It's going to correspond to that black color we put into Canvas. Set the background to the background color. And I used an Arial 18 bold for my font. And I need to pack that. That creates our interface. So if I were to run it at this point, that is what I would see. So I have my label for the title, canvas, blank label, a frame containing my three sliders, red, green, and blue, and then the hexadecimal value. Now we need to code this and write that set color definition. So anytime I change this, it's changing not only the color in the canvas, but it's also representing what the hexadecimal value is of those three sliders combined. Remember the C9 here would be the red, the ED would be the green, and the 72 would be the blue. Take that down to zero. Take the green down to zero. Take the red down to zero. All right, let's look at that code. So here's my set color. Self, and I'm going to pass it X. X is going to be whatever the value is of that slider. R is going to equal the, the, sli the slider red dot get. So I'm going to get the value there. I'm going to get the value of my green and the value of the blue. Put those into RGB. 
my hex value is going to be a pound sign plus I'm going to create another method where I'm going to pass it those RGB values to a method called deck to hex and we'll look at that in a minute but that's going to give me a, a two digit hexadecimal value of the decimal equivalent of R, G, and B. And I'm simply concatenating those together. And that's what's going into my label. I'm going to set the swatch background color to whatever that hex value is using the dot configure. And then we'll use dot config for the label setting the text also to hex value. Here's my little method for taking the decimal value of R, G, and B, passing it into a definition called deck to hex. I created just a string of characters from 0 to 9 in A, B, C, D, E, F. That's going to give me my 16 different values that are available for each digit in the hex system. I'm going to set the 16s equal to my decimal value, integer division, 16. And then my 1s will be the remainder of that. We'll use a modulus operator, operation, decimal modulus 16. I'm going to concatenate those together. So my hex is going to equal the hex values of 16s. So whatever the 16s integer is, it's going to get the appropriate character out of hex values. And I'll do the same thing with the ones. And I'm going to return hex. So hex comes back in for self.deck to hex r, self.deck to hex g, and self.deck to hex b. It's calling that method three times, returning three values. Those are concatenated together with my hashtag to get me my hex value string, which we then use in configuring our swatch background color and displaying the value in our label. And then finally, we have to run our program. So my GUI equals my GUI. I'm gonna run that method that gets everything going. So I'm creating an instance of the my GUI class. And the result is, as I play with these sliders, I can get all kinds of colors and see what the hexadecimal value is of the created color. If you just jumped into this video and haven't seen the prior videos to this, I invite you to check out my Python playlist of videos. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos that I create, you can click my picture up in the top right and subscribe to the channel.